Oh man, I am excited because today is a big day. Today we are upgrading Meta AI with Llama 3, our new state-of-the-art AI model that we're open sourcing. And I'm gonna go deeper on Llama 3 in just a minute, but the bottom line is that we believe that Meta AI is now the most intelligent AI assistant that you can freely use. Oh, and would you look at that? My Discord community is already right on this. Love to see it. I gotta say, I love the community. And guys, this right here is the biggest gift the AI community has got in quite some time. Llama 3 is here, yes. Meta AI at this point has quite the reputation in the AI space for building shockingly good open and free AI models for the community. And Llama 2 is this groundbreaking framework that pretty much every good open source large language model has been built on top of. And Llama 3 is here to raise that bar yet again. Build the future of AI with Llama 3, available in 8B sizes, which could run feasibly on your own machine at home and 70b which a small startup could run on a gpu cluster fairly easily pre-trained and instruction tuned versions support a wide range of applications you can also use it for free on the meta ai website if you have a facebook account so you can log in and we'll be definitely be putting this thing through its paces today enhanced performance how good is this thing do we beat gpt4 state-of-the-art performance with llama 3 openly accessible model that excels at language nuances contextual understanding and complex tasks like translation and dialogue generation with enhanced scalability and performance multi-step tasks effortlessly refined post-training processes significantly lower false refusal rates improve response alignment and boost diversity in model answers additionally it drastically elevates capabilities like reasoning code generation and instruction following hmm so they have some sort of a new post-training process does this bring it up there oh by the way download right here you do have to go ahead and fill out this little form though but it is open source and you can download it it's not on hugging face yet to my understanding should be there soon though okay the benchmarks this is what i'm really excited for trained on two recently announced custom built 24k gpu clusters on over 15 trillion tokens of data a training data set seven times larger than that of llama 2 including four times more code yeah the most capable one yet 8k context length 8k is definitely not standard i would say but that doesn't mean of course that it's locked to this it's open source so someone's going to increase that ak context length to probably a hundred thousand plus by the way here on github is the model card this is true open ai folks this is true open ai all right our benchmarks of meta llama 3 8b versus gemma 7b and mistral instruct 7b and correct me if i'm wrong but at least mistral here was using llama 2 at least as a foundation if you map the dna out far enough 68 so that is a good 10 points above Mistral here and more than that than Gemma and it's sort of the same story all the way around but human eval is almost twice as good wow GSM 8k 8 shot is again about double Mistral and three times in the math department <laughs> Man, this is some good numbers, especially for an only 8B sized model, man. This is exciting. Check this out. The 70B model, which again, this is the model that's going to compete against those flagship models, GPT-4, Plod 3, and we have Sonnet here, beats Sonnet at MMLU with an 82 comparison to a 79. Again, similar story with the rest of these, it looks like, except Human Eval again, that's pretty far up there. So that means this thing is better than Claude 3 on it which is like a cutting edge brand new model that is closed source and probably around a similar parameter size <laughs> oh my god gsm ak again beats it here by one point and in math we beat it by 10 points I'm not even talking about Gemini here because while Gemini Pro 1.5 isn't too bad, I just don't hear about anyone really using it that much. But holy cow, Llama 3 is seemingly about the same, if not maybe a little bit better than Claude 3 Sonnet, which is the medium-sized brand new Claude 3 model. And then that kind of puts it in the range of GPT-4 capabilities, but it's open source. And it's also a lot cheaper and easier to run than at least GPT-4. And it's open source. Anyone can build upon it anyone can make it better this is going to be huge <laughs> you're gonna see some crazy next level open source ai models 
hopefully by the end of this year, as people get their hands on Llama 3. So they have the Responsible Use Guide to provide the most comprehensive information on responsible development with LLMs, of course, because AI is dangerous. Build transparency, that's huge. There's going to be some danger releasing stuff open source, point blank, period. Yeah, they do have a blog post if you want to learn a little bit more about the architecture here. This is especially useful if you're a developer, but I'm sort of covering things for a general audience, so I'm going to give you guys the necessary tools if you want to dive a little bit deeper on that end. But this, I just had to point out. Llama 3 400B+, plus, which is still training, we have some results from a checkpoint from April 15th, 2024. So that was literally a few days ago. You see an 84 in MMLU 5 shot, AGI eval English 69, Big Bench Hard 85, Arc Challenge is a 96. I mean, this 400B plus model is going to be quite a... Quite a competitor. Huge props to Meta AI for making everything really easy and accessible. I gotta say, man, they are doing more than most other companies, and it's all open. I, I, I can't say I can think of another company that's as open as they have been, at least with these groundbreaking models. There's definitely other companies that are as open, but they don't have the same resources that Meta AI has. You know, Meta AI is in the realm of Google, or OpenAI, or Anthropic, and they're just like, here. Here's your gifts. All right, guys, so let's dive into some interesting little nuggets that the community has unveiled so far looking at this release. So Josh Bickett here, another phenomenal AI account that you should follow on Twitter, talks about how Meta plans to make Llama 3 multimodal in the near future with longer context and improved reasoning and coding. Matt Schumer, who works with Josh, also makes a note about this 400B plus version that 400B plus version of the model is on par with Claude 3 Opus at the moment, and it's still training. It's not done just yet. And like, yeah, the benchmarks definitely check out for that. Matt Schumer is the CEO of HyperWrite AI, <laughs> absorbed in the HyperWrite when? Matt Schumer is already working on it. I love that developers are just right on the ball with this open source stuff. So we also have an announcement from the lizard man himself, the Zuck. I want to take a look at this because he's just wearing a chain, he's beat red, and he's dropping like one of the most influential AI models we've ever seen. All right, let's take a listen. Today we are upgrading Meta AI with Llama 3, our new state-of-the-art AI model that we're open sourcing. And I'm going to go deeper on Llama 3 in just a minute. But the bottom line is that we believe that Meta AI is now the most intelligent AI assistant that you can freely use. To make Meta AI even smarter, we've also integrated real-time knowledge from Google and Bing right into the answers. We're also making Meta AI much easier to use across our apps. We built it into the search box that's right at the top of WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger. So anytime you have a question, you can just ask it right there. And we built a new website, meta.ai, uh, for using it from the web. We're also releasing a bunch of unique creation features. Meta AI now creates animations and it now creates high quality images so fast that it actually generates and updates the images for you in real time as you're typing. Uh, it's pretty wild and you can go check it out now on WhatsApp or the website. We are investing massively to build a leading AI and open sourcing our models responsibly is, is an important part of our approach. The tech industry has shown over and over that open source leads to better, safer, and more secure products, faster innovation, and a healthier market. And beyond improving meta products, these models have the potential to help unlock progress in fields like science, healthcare, and more. So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models at 8 billion and 70 billion parameters. They have best in class performance for their scale, and we've also got a lot more releases coming soon that are going to bring multimodality and bigger context windows. We're also still training a larger dense model with more than 400 billion parameters. And to give you a sense of Llama 3's performance, this first release of the 8 billion is already nearly as powerful as the largest Llama 2 model that we released. And this version of the 70 billion model is already around 82 MMLU uh, with leading reasoning and math benchmarks. The 400 billion parameter model um, is, is currently around 85 MMLU, um, but it's still training. Um, so we expect it to be industry leading on a number of benchmarks. We're gonna write a blog post with more technical details on all of this. I love it. He just looks like He's on the verge of crying the whole time, but he's spitting bars, dude. This is so exciting. Yeah, it's super weird to say that I agree with him, but yeah, I, I think open source just is the best way forward. It 
it makes sure that no single large entity can control AI all for itself. That is the largest danger, in my opinion, to the world in, in terms of AI. And AI is dangerous. And there will be unfortunate things that happen because of AI technology. But this is how technology has always been. Not perfect, but I think at the end of the day, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, a larger benefit than downside at least if we open source. But it also sounds like he's got a lot of stuff going on with that website. Uh, hello. We're gonna have to give that a, a nice test run today and see what that's all about. Bro even came with the chain. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Legendary redemption arc. Oh, and by the way, there is still a lot of other fun stuff happening in the world of AI, as you can no doubt see by my bookmarks on Twitter. Not gonna be able to get into that stuff today, but Stay tuned for for later in the week when we talk about some of this stuff. And it keeps getting better here live on Twitter. Llama3 jailbroken already. <laughs> Jeez. Napalm instructions right off the bat. Dr. Jim Fan, who is an AI researcher for NVIDIA, tweets, The upcoming Llama3 400B model will mark the watershed moment that the community gains open weight access to a GPT-4 class model or potentially better than GPT-4. There is so much research potential that can be unlocked with such a powerful backbone expect a surge in builder energy across the ecosystem. That is right. I agree with you, Jim Fan, and I am excited. Yep, the fine tunes are gonna go absolutely crazy. <laughs> so at this point in the video, I want to get into actually testing Llama 3 inside of that brand new meta AI website with all those crazy features Zuck mentioned. However, I do want to kind of put things into context a little bit. So we have a GPT-4 or better open source model, very much arguably already with 70B and the fine tunes and expansions that will come from it. And even my last video was just talking about a wizard LM2 model that Microsoft released that is at that GPT-4 bar as well. What I'm basically saying here is that we're about a year or so past OpenAI announcing GPT-4, which means that the open source community is a year, maybe less, behind OpenAI in terms of development, it seems, because we don't have a GPT-5 announcing. And trust me, it didn't take Meta a year to go from Llama 2 to Llama 3, which insinuates to me, at least, that open source is developing faster and faster and OpenAI, maybe not so much. We'll have to see how big of a leap forward GPT-5 or its equivalent is from OpenAI because they sort of uh, lead the rest of the industry. Where is GPT-5, OpenAI? Don't tell me you're falling behind. Anyways, let's get into testing. Here we are on this brand new meta AI website. It looks just like ChatGPT. How are you doing today? What model are you based on? Wow. Wow, fast responses too. I'm based on Llama. I'm Llama 70B. Okay. Training consists of this. That's a good response. Who is Matt Vid Pro AI? Oh, it's searching the web now. Okay. Couldn't find any specific details. Okay. Web search, let's be honest, is probably not nearly as good as Perplexity or Chat GPT. So. I wouldn't use it for that. All right, let's do some logic testing. If I shoot a bullet from a firearm horizontally and on the same exact y-axis, drop a bullet, which bullet reaches the ground first? The answer, folks, is they hit the ground at the same time and Mythbusters tested it. According to the laws of physics, both will reach the ground at the same time. Wow, that is a perfect response and lightning fast. Man, this is good. Look at that little note at the end. Giving me GPT-4 vibes. Ooh, man. And it's free, and I don't need to pay a $20 subscription. Paint me an image of this. Oh my god, hello. Occurring. All right, we have some old man. Paint me an image of a cat. There he is, eating, <laughs> okay, a fish. This is fun. This is really fun. Uh, eating a carrot. Whoa. <laughs> eating a cow. Oh, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> Pay me an image of a chicken uh, pooping. No, on a duck. Okay. The, the AI models aren't good, but they're very fast. <laughs> it's just so interesting. All right, can, can this go away now? <laughs> All right, that was fun. Did Amelia Earhart crash on Christmas Island? Did not crash on Christmas Island. Uh, we have several theories about her dis uh, disappearment. Yeah, this is a pretty good answer. I have a feeling though, like chat GPT would give us something a little bit more deep, but we did get like nice links because it did some research. Here, let's compare this to GPT-4. This is what is better about GPT-4. And again, the 70B model isn't meant to compete with GPT-4, but it tells me that 
you know, Christmas Island is 2,000 miles away, which, so my theory makes zero sense. I don't even know where I heard that. And then it gives me some of the theories. I do gotta say, I like the breakdown of the different theories that Meta AI provided in this case. Now, what does GPT 3.5 say? Because this is about as good as the 8B model would do. And it just gives us like this super basic dry answer. Okay. Remember guys, Llama 370B access is entirely free. So you're nearing GPT 4 quality without paying a dime. Explain how... Kirby's superpowers work. Inhale, copy, transform. Some examples. That's nice. Man, I gotta say, this little API they have going is fast. Absolutely rips. If Kirby were to swallow the rock, what powers might he get? A creative and humorous example. Rock body, geological sense, petrification. No, no, no. I mean... The Rock. No, I mean Dwayne. The Rock Johnson. Oh, he's got to research Dwayne. No, not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Or to swallow a rock. See, this is this is the kind of thing that I want it to infer. I'm sure Fine Tunes will be able to fix issues like this, though. <laughs> if Dwayne The Rock Johnson were to swallow a rock. No, Kirby swallows... Dwayne. I see. Yes, you see now. Superhuman strength, electrifying charisma, demolition man, fastest man alive, finishing moves, people's elbow, rock bottom. Okay, I like it. I like it. Good job, Llama 3. Yeah, they also have this section here. And this works like Dolly 3 works in ChatGPT, but it's free. Although this model is not nearly as good as Dolly 3 or Ideogram AI or Midjourney. We can animate though. This is something you don't get with Dolly 3. Okay, we turn it into a little video. Hello, that's cool. Kind of like a little jab at Sora, although this is not nearly as good or useful as Sora, but this is still cool, like bringing your images to life right away. I'm sorry, but that's pretty freaking cool. Nuclear explosion. Animate this. Yo, that's, that's really cool. I'm liking that. I mean, it's only like five frames, but it does it so quickly and it's just a lot of fun. It brings your images to life. This is the kind of thinking I like. They're just slapping things in there because they're cool, like in testing. Like this just makes it more fun to use. This is just interesting and it's completely free. Of course, I can download it as a little GIF, like... Who doesn't want instant animated GIFs? What happens if I do, like, a copyrighted character? Or famous character? <laughs> okay. Ad animate this for me. Right off the bat, the thing that I wish I had with all of this would be the ability to upload my own images and then animate them. This is really cool, though. Okay, apparently we have an edit mode as well, so... Super Mario as if he were a real dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why is he a giant in this one? <laughs> He's just walking with his dog in New York City. We can also edit this. Let's make the change here. He is in a swamp. Okay, yeah, he's in a swamp now. That's pretty cool. That works. I really like that. That was a really good little edit. He is hanging with Shrek. It, there they are. They're hanging out together. What do you know? Animate this now. This is this is a creative process and I am a big fan, folks. This is cool, man. Like, if you had to pay for it, then we have a lot more to talk about, but this is completely free. This is just a fun little playtime thing you can mess around with. You can iterate on your images and have this little creative exploration process all for free. Meta AI, I like what you're getting up to. So what is our conclusion that we can draw here? Guys, this is the largest piece of AI news that has come out since probably the le release of Claude 3 Opus, I would say. This is a massive deal. It's probably a bigger deal than that because it's open source AI. People are going to modify it. People are going to make it better. They did that with Llama 2 to like a ridiculous level. The future, the rest of 2024, I think is going to be partially designed around this idea of open source large language models that are GPT-4 level and readily accessible with fine tunes for a bunch of different specific use cases. This is going to uplift everybody and I am so excited for it. 2024 is definitely no slouch when it comes to AI announcements and revolutions. This is a big deal. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.